Hello. Today, I'm going to share with you a very powerful visualization exercise that you can use to create your life and career that you want. Walt Disney has said that if you can dream it, you can achieve it. A lot of clients come to me when they're confused about their careers, when they're unsure about their careers and their future. So in the coaching program that I do with my clients, we start with the vision exercise. We start with what do they want to create in their future? What do they want in their careers in the next one, two or three years? Today, I'm going to share with you all what I share only with my clients. So in some ways, I'm sharing one of my secrets with you today, and I'm happy about that. I hope you can make use of this. So that's why before we go any further, I want you to get a notepad and a pen so that you can write down this exercise and do this exercise right away. Pause this video if you need to get a notepad and a pen. Think about all the elements that you want in your future career. Maybe you are looking for a new career. Maybe you are looking for a new job or a new role. Now, let's get to the exercise. At this juncture, I want you to open your notepad, open a brand new page. And on the top of the page, write down your future career. If you're looking for a new career, future job or future role if you're looking for a new job or a new role that you aspire for. On that same page, I want you to divide that page into three columns. The leftmost column is must have. You will write the must have elements into this column. The middle column is nice to have. The third column, the rightmost, is don't want to have. What are these elements? The must have elements are those which are absolutely critical for you. These are elements which are non-negotiable for you, which are most important for you to have. What are the nice to haves? Nice to have elements are also important, but not as important as the must haves. You are a little bit negotiable. Uh, you are a little bit flexible on that. And what are the don't want to have elements? These are the elements that you absolutely don't want in your future career or future job. Many of my clients write too much of stress, too much of travel, micromanaging boss or office politics. These are the elements clients usually write, but you can write your own. What are the different elements that you can write inside of this? Let me share with you some examples so that it will help you write your own list. Think about what kind of roles you are looking for, what kind of titles you are looking for, what kind of designations will give you that excitement. Think about the job function. Think about the work content. Think about the areas in which you want to work. Think about what kind of salary do you want? What kind of benefits do you want? Think about what kind of organization you want to work with. Do you want to work with a large organization or a mid-sized organization? Or do you want to work with a startup? Or do you want to work with a social enterprise? What will give you happiness and fulfillment? What kind of growth opportunities do you want? What kind of learning opportunities do you want in that organization? At what location you want to work at? How much travel do you want? What kind of people do you want to work with? What kind of boss? What kind of managers you want to work with? What kind of colleagues? What kind of team members you want to have? What kind of clients do you want to work with? What kind of work-life balance do you want in that new career, new job? How much flexibility do you want it? How much travel time is okay? How much freedom do you want? 
all of these elements and add your own because this is about your career this is about your life but i hope the examples give you an idea now once you create this exercise when you have written down what are the must have elements what are the nice to have elements and what are the don't want to have elements then create a vision board out of this visit this exercise visit visit this vision of yours every day keep it at a place where you can see it every day look at it every day and ask yourself this question what is that one action that i can take to move towards that future that i want to create in the next 1 2 or 3 years because only actions produce results so i want you to use this exercise to create the future that you want and i'm sure you can do it